it's Kristen and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. So for today's video, we are getting into some more building. You guys are going to be seeing a lot of builds coming up on my channel because I have so many that I have been editing and I'm kind of losing my voice. We're just going to kind of go with it. <laughs> now, you guys know I have been talking a lot about really just trying to break out of my comfort zone of building in The Sims. And you guys know I tend to gravitate towards doing like traditional and suburban family homes. So I did feel like I was getting in a little bit of a rut. I feel like I talk about this on every build that I have been doing recently. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I have been wanting to do and play around with different styles in game and just kind of use a lot of different like build items that we do have. So this build in particular is actually inspired by a picture that I seen over on Pinterest for a boat home. And that one I think was a little bit more along contemporary. I don't think it was so much modern. I think it definitely was a little bit more of like the contemporary vibe. Now, I just kind of went with it. I did change up quite a few things with the build, but generally this is inspired by that picture. And I wasn't even gonna post it. <laughs> to be completely honest, as soon as I was finished it, I just kind of like left it to be and I was talking about it with Rosa. Um, one of my friends here on YouTube and she's like you should really post it. It's different and so here we are posting this tropical kind of build in March. <laughs> so doing this build also has me really excited for summer and I have started planning out some summertime builds even though yes we are quite a ways away from it. So I actually cannot wait you guys until The Sims brings something really tropical to the world and I know that we will get it eventually, it's just kind of like when we will get it. Because whatever is in Sims 3, basically we will be getting, or it seems to be that we are getting just like remade packs in Sims 4. So I honestly cannot wait. And as I was doing this build, I just kept like thinking about how awesome it would be to actually have boat homes that are functional in game. Like how freaking cool would it be to actually be able to like drive around or sail around, I guess, <laughs> is what you would say. In the ocean, be able to snorkel, catch sunburns, lay out on the beach. And yeah, so this definitely has me excited for that. So this one I did build in Brindleton Bay just because I haven't built in Brindleton Bay in a while. So I just kind of thought it was fitting to have here with like that coastal water. Even though Brindleton Bay is not tropical, I definitely do not get that vibe. It's more of just like coastal, but it works. <laughs> it has water and we are definitely kind of limited when it comes to tropical places in The Sims. We do have the outdoor retreat Granite Falls, but I didn't really want to put this there and I didn't really want to place this in Oasis Springs either. So this home as well is going to be for your either single Sims or if you just have two sims and you are looking for somewhere teeny tiny for them to live. Um, this only does have a one double bed. The upstairs is so tiny, you guys. There really isn't a lot of space for entertaining. So this I would even consider a starter home. And I think if you did not have the pool all around the home that it would be like in the starter price range or pretty close because as you guys know pools are definitely really expensive when you are using them in your build so this one of course you are going to want to have your move objects sheet on um, before you place it so the downstairs does have the bathroom and i wanted to make the bathroom have like their own entrance from the exterior i just thought it kind of looked a little bit realistic because if you are swimming that you're not really going to want to drag the water all through the home even though it doesn't matter <laughs> when you are in game you guys know i like to keep my build as realistic as possible usually now the inside of this home you guys i wanted to really keep it with that um i don't know if it's kind of like a plaster or if it is more of like a cement or even fiberglass it just has that really unique texture on the walls and like i said i have been just trying to get out of my comfort zone get away from wallpaper and originally i thought it would be really cool to have the bed be where that like little sunroom is but the more i thought about it the more that i picture the like main living room to kind of have that 
little area where you can just kind of like look out onto the water. And then we move the bedroom downstairs. And every time I use this bed, you guys, it definitely has a little bit of a mermaid feel to it. The bed pattern kind of has like, it kind of, I mean, it's not mermaid scales, but it definitely kind of reminds me of them. So we don't really have that much for the like nautical and tropical decor. And I also really wanted to keep this minimal just because as you guys know, I do tend to clutter up my builds quite a bit. So I think that's another reason that I did not want to post this originally. I was like sending pictures over to Rosa and I'm like, but it looks unfinished. There's really not that much stuff. But again, I think it just is because I'm so used to having like so much clutter in my builds that I was like feeling a little unfinished with the build. So I did, like I said, try to keep everything really minimal. And even in the upstairs area, I did try to keep the counters just really minimal. And I think there's only the one extra countertop for preparing meals. So there's not that much space for a kitchen, but I did have enough space to place like some seating. The bathroom, surprisingly, you guys, was actually not that small. It's fully functional, it has a shower, and usually I tend to add like tub combos in my builds, but because this I pictured to be either just like a sim couple, I don't picture there to be children living here. So I think the hardest part about doing this whole entire build, you guys, was definitely the kitchen. I don't know if it's because we don't really have that much for modern or modern, I don't really know how to say that properly. <laughs> I always get called out in the comments for how I pronounce that, but I do feel like we are a little bit limited for having those style of like countertops and um, counters. So I think that's probably why I struggle the most with doing that style of build. Now the kitchen is really teeny tiny, so I did have a little bit of trouble figuring out how I wanted to have everything placed. And I did really wanna try to take advantage of all of the space that we did have just because there's not a lot of it. So I think that is why I, this kitchen is not my favorite, I'll just say that. <laughs> and I think the reason is just because it is really clean and there's really not too much to look at in the kitchen, but I know that for people that enjoy modern, that is like how it's supposed to be. So I did want to put a little seating area out on this balcony. Now, one thing that I did forget to add up there was a barbecue. So um, because this is so small and we do have the balcony, I really wanted to use that space for a spot for entertaining because in the kitchen area, we only have a spot for one of the chairs that are in there so just in case you do have you know a little bit of entertaining going on or you do have your second sim here i mean you're going to want to both be able to sit down and enjoy some food so i didn't really want to make this a boring home so we do have a little stereo so you will be able to put on your beachy tropical music and i definitely picture some salva dorada music oh my gosh this could actually work in the jungle um in Salva Dorada, this could actually work there. You could definitely pull in some of that theme in this build as well. And yeah, so there's still a lot of space if you guys did want to add in your own little characteristics in here. All of the shelves are there, so if you wanted to go around and collect the snow globes, I pictured them to fit perfectly on the shelves in the kitchen. But I really hope that you guys enjoyed the build even though it is completely different than what I tend to build. If you guys do want to download it, it is going to be in the gallery using my username Kristen Marie XO. And of course, as always, if you guys did enjoy, make sure to give this video a very big thumbs up. And hopefully I'm going to see you all next time. Bye guys!